Having all the elements needed for a robust manufacturing industry, a Mars base could supply expeditions to the asteroid belt and beyond with tools and equipment too heavy to be transported from Earth. It could provide a resupply of propellant, water, and even food, being the only other location in the solar system suitable to grow crops for export. Asteroids contain trillions of dollars of valuable material, which Mars is extremely well positioned to access. 90% of so-called near-Earth asteroids actually orbit closer to Mars, and Mars itself orbits right on the edge of the main belt. Due to longer travel times to Mars, tourism is less likely than on the Moon. However, Mars is by far the better candidate for long-term or even permanent human habitation, so there will be a large demand for housing, which private and public companies can compete to supply. Mars is an ideal location to search for extraterrestrial life, as it was once a warm and wet planet and contained all the conditions needed for life as we know it to exist. In the long term, Mars can be terraformed to have liquid water oceans, a thick atmosphere, and plants growing unaided on the surface. Mars alone has what it takes to support a fully self-sufficient second branch of civilization, and humanity could help it become a new home for life to evolve on even long after we are gone. It's for these reasons that we're preparing our next great leap into space. The moon's closer, but Mars is larger, with stronger gravity, more resources, and an atmosphere to protect from solar radiation and micrometeorites. Considering the familiar day-night cycle and reasonable temperatures, Mars has prime real estate compared to the moon. The moon's proximity does make it more accessible, but Mars isn't exactly inaccessible. Under the right conditions, rockets can actually send more cargo to Mars than to the Moon, and a human trip can be accomplished in six months with existing technology. The best it gets on the Moon is at the poles, where there's plentiful solar power, but you'd have to live underground and mine water ice from frigid craters. On Mars, you could live anywhere on the surface, with all the water and resources needed for life and civilization. There's less sunlight for solar power, but it doesn't take as much energy to grow crops and meet other basic needs. Besides, Martians will be able to manufacture solar panels and create a self-expanding power base, while lunar colonists will rely on imports to make efficient solar cells. The Moon's ideal for space-based manufacturing, astronomy, and tourism, and will help us to test our technologies and access the solar system. But its proximity to Earth means it will forever be subject to earthly politics, which makes it too close to be a true backup for humanity. Due to its hostile environment and minimal communication delay with Earth, the Moon is well suited to be developed robotically where possible, in preparation for the scientists and tourists who will want to go there. Mars, on the other hand, is a place where humans can live and multiply to large numbers, a place where an actual civilization, and not just a mining or scientific outpost, can be developed. Only Mars is a viable target for true colonization, 